It's Scorpio. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to Tis I, the Only Archer with Archer Astrology. How you doing? Scorpio, it's time to do your lovers check-in for you and the one on your mind for the beginning of March, going forward from there ish shift in 2024, or whenever you clicked on this reading and decided to come and hang out with me for a little bit. Because my readings are timeless and meant to find you when they find you. Scorpio, the deck jammed. Heads up. When my deck jams, that tells me that you need a hug. So we're going to take a moment right here. Stop, grip you up for a nice big spinny hug, spin you around till your heels fly off like a Hallmark movie, and then put you back down. If you're a dude, you just get a bro hug. Don't you want the spinny hug? I don't care. Do you? Whatever. It's your, This is your reading, Scorpio. So either way, spinny hugs for you, okay? Let's try it again and find out how that works out. All right, here we go. Aw, cool. Take two? Nah, we'll stick with the hugs. All right, cool. Anyways, Scorpio. I do appreciate you for being here and being a part of this. If you could return the love and the spinny hugs for me, of course, and love the like down here, help share the channel, the video, help get us into the algorithm so we grow and everybody can heal together. It's a thing we do here. It's a genre that I love and appreciate you for being a part of. Also, subscribe, set the bell to all notifications. Hold that. It's over here, but we got to see what this is too. The Six of Wands to Judgment. Oh my gosh, you like already know you got something good coming in with a victory on this one here. Like, right out of the gate, Caitlin Petty shows up being like, victory, I win. Scorpio wins. I like that. Or Scorpio wanted the hugs. Oh, my goodness. You're getting, the deck's getting all flustered. Anyways, meanwhile, subscribe, set the bell here, because there's a lot of flustered Six of Wands victories for you in store here, all right? I appreciate you for being a part of it, all right? And remember, I do go live Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern for an all signs. From here's to Pisces, plus a card for each sign. So you can hang out with me, Goodman, and the OG Mod Squad, your concierge for an evening of fun down in the chat. As we heal, go deep, and find out what's going on with you and the one in your mind. Feel free to page the swords all over my channel as much as you like. You can check out my healing music bass covers with Bill over here. He's the Gemini, but you might know that. He's cool. He's got he's got some pipes. Magician to the Eight of Cups. No, that's the Knight of Cups. Ooh, you're already ready to go forward on it with the Six of Pentacles. So there is something that you've had on your mind that you want to come together and work out that that might be why you're here. So you do have somebody on your mind. Maybe it's like not even a no communication. You've already been talking or you're wanting to talk. All right, but while we're here, oh my goodness, really? Page of Pentacles on the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, do you know what you want or what? You've got like something in the 3D that you're like, Archer, I need to know about this. <laughs> Anyways, Page of Swords, as I was saying, there's pick a card readings where my decks pick you, all your weeklies, monthlies, lives, and organized, prioritized for your viewing enjoyment so you can hang out with me for a while. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram as we grow the channel across the board. Check out my playlist for collabs and meet and greet info where you can see what it's like when Archer comes to your town. There's awesome music from Galen Petty and Goodman. Dude, there's music all over the place. Maybe music even speaking to you more, Scorpio. But we'll find out. My God, well, the, the, the Hermit card. Virgo energy to the Nine of Pentacles. Basically, we've already done your whole reading. The cards are already just flying out during the intro. <laughs> I do appreciate you for it, but we're going to set the energies. Now, I mean, you know you're already ultimately and definitely protected because I'm the crystals. I'm your ride and die for life, so I got you covered. All these messages are for you and your person's highest and greatest good and all the usual, all right? <laughs> I cannot with you. This is fun. Three of Swords, Nine of Swords on the Four of Wands, and the World card. Every sign already showed up for you, too. Because there's a wish that you're seeing granted or something's connecting deeper than what you see. We got to go for this here because your intuition must be on point. You're banging right now. All right, let's do it to it. Nine cards on the table, 10th card outcome at the bottom, all the usual. Using the Millennial Tarot for the base cards, doing the heavy lifting this week. And the new Muse Tarot, throwing the clarifiers at it for you. I'm actually enjoying this. This is a boatload of love and energy on this one here. So let's go for it. We're going to do Archer's version of a Celtic cross. It's like an Archerian cross, all right? Let's see what we got for you and the one in your mind, because the astrology might even be reflecting this, where you've already got this idea that you've dreamt up, this person that you've dreamt or manifested. Maybe you've gone all Nikola Tesla, Rita Kaminsky all over the place, and uh, like Kim Velez on Mountain Dew, because the sun is still in Pisces, but we're heading towards a new moon in Pisces on the 10th. And that's going to be like new moon manifestations that you might already be working on that you want some clarifying to make sure it's, it's working out the way you planned it. Because when we get to the eclipses, the first eclipse of the start of the spring equinox and all that's happening in Libra on the 25th at the end of the month. So we're going to have Libra balancing out while the sun and the moon sit up there going, hey, stop blocking my light. Stop staring at my dark side. And, and Libra energy is going to come and be like, you two get along nice now. <laughs> all right. Keeping the moon and the sun in check. But so anyways. We're going to check out on what's going on there because maybe it's this this four of wands, three of swords, things you've wished or dreamt about. It's taking a little bit longer or you just want to make sure all the parts are in place before you go for it. Like 
you know, I'm going to do my moon manifestations archer and just want to make sure everything's ready to roll. So let's find out, shall we? Let's go for it. Here we go. All right, Scorpio, Scorpio. Wherefore art thou, Scorpio? It is the east, and Scorpio is the sun. Or the wheel of fortune to the seven of swords. Man, have you done a lot of work to heal to go forward on this when the wheel is turning in your favor? How fixed energy of you, too. You're like, I don't care what the astrology says. I'm getting what I want on this one here. All right? But we're going to still maintain our angelic rhythm, Scorpio. Okay? Let's do it. One and two. There we go. Let's love this deck for the sexy Scorpios. Here we go. Bottom of the deck coming back around is the judgment card. Some of your energy, also mutable. Mutable energy I pull off of the judgment card because that's the ability to adapt from the things of the past that we have learned from and to get new lessons from it and like to grow and heal. Queen of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles on the Queen of Cups to the Ace of Pentacles back. I will, this will be awesome if like every card in the preview comes out as your energies. I'm going to love this reading. I got a feeling this is going to be awesome because that Queen of Swords shows in the outcome there. You you got this ability to speak with confidence, Gemini energy, and, and like to trust things to come together with the Seven of Pentacles because it's taking a long time. But the energy of Pisces with the Queen of Cups and Cancer comes out that your intuition is strengthening. The whole mama's intuition comes in. So there's a lot of mastering of the feminine side of the energy being, being, is, it, is there a way for a Scorpio to get more nurturing and loving? I mean, you guys already got that like in the bag on lockdown. It's amazing. But let's find out. What's your present energy? The justice card. Libra energy. Getting things in order. Balancing your head and your heart chakras. Cardinal energy. Maybe you even have like some cardinal energy in your chart. Or you're a Libra cusper on the Libra Scorpio side of things. But with that there, the number 11 might resonate to you as well. Or you're seeing 1111, the twin flame card, the wishes card, the wishes time on the clock that just keeps repeating itself. It's like you're wanting to take a softer approach to this, to make amends, to work things out and get all the chakras lined up. I'm seeing we're focusing like a lot on the chakras that are like from the bust up when the energies right now just to energize this one here. So it's like. You know what you have been through, and with that Justice Libra energy and the judgment, like you kind of know what they both have been through, you and them. And like maybe you just want to step into a more powerful, confident place so that you feel more, more on your own, more of your power in this one here. You've been like held back or held down for so long in the past that maybe you're just wanting to take off and, and go for something here, okay? It's like you got everything in place. Your present energy is the Ten of Pentacles. I say it here and it comes out here like a Polaroid picture. <laughs> Shake that one up. Ten of Pentacles. There is something that you have planned that's going to go forward into this one here that creates a form of generational wealth, goes the distance, something where the kids are taken care of, and things work out well. Where even long after you're gone, things are progressing into this one here. The end result is something you know, believe, and trust in on this one here. And it can it can get you past any of these points of like maybe a little bit of like feeling jaded or unsure or unconfident of something. You're rising up into a whole new power this month as we go forward into it. Okay, you might have some strong cardinal energy in your chart. Libra, um, Cancer, Capricorn, and who's the other dude? Libra, Cancer, Capricorn. That's that's the, that's everybody but the fire. Aries. Oh, there's where it comes from. There's some passion in you that you might not be letting show. Like no archer, don't think, don't don't mention the fire signs because there's something inside that that you feel growing or that you want to manifest. So what's your goal or destiny? Where's it going to take you to? Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, and the ten ten connection shows up. Maybe you're born on the tenth or the twentieth straight up onto this one here that another time on the clocks even so so maybe i'm talking to a scorpio that does a lot of the clock watching or keeps things in order the tens and the twenties lining up for you with this one here coming out for your goal or destiny it's it's like you're wanting to make everything line up so that you can you can focus on the end result of speaking clearly and communicating you've been through a lot already in the past that you've learned to grow from and you're at that point the tens are the completions in tarot so you got your your uh, earth energy and your air energy lining up here. Your goal or destiny is to overcome those things that might leave you a little stagnant or, or slow moving. And and knowing your worth and your power into this one here is you manifest exactly what you want. Uh, I'm seeing like manifesting the relationship you want, the house you want, the love you want, where you guys get each other on the same terms. That's like a trifecta coming in here. You've got it all going on, right? All right, so let's see what's on their side of the fence. Three of Pentacles. Measuring twice, cut literally measuring twice, cutting once. What I just said, having everything in check here. So maybe you guys actually do like work together or like you share a hobby or an interest or something in here. They do have a lot with this earth energy, Capricorn energy in this case to get that back. So they've got a lot going on. They're closed off to love. Like how like 
Venus, Mercury, and everything are kind of hanging around with the sun. Like, literally, it's it's like a divide up there. Like, you got Team Sun and Team Moon up right there right now. Maybe this Libra energy balances that stuff out as we start into the moon cycles going forward on this one. But they've got this energy set up where, like, maybe when you met them, they were, like, in the middle of dealing with a lot of stuff literally going on, like, like, like I'm seeing like like hypnotherapies and, and and child stuff where where they take the time to reflect back on yeah this is something that I went through that I worked on bringing forward into this one maybe they had like a broken home situation or just just a broken mind situation where they get a lot of stuff on their mind maybe they had to be an adult at a really young age it's not about an age difference or the mindset difference is already showing up too the future influence on the connection eight of wands there's the Sagittarius energy bringing some communication in and kind of a a quirky yet fun way. Sagittarius does know how to leave a mark on something. There's an angelical runway lined up here for you guys to communicate in a place of power and passion from that six of wands victory, but doing it in a mutable forward momentum onto this one here. So they're working hard to not overreact. How Sagittarius of them? And to to like work to clear out all those past energetical spaces so that it's like safe to proceed. The runway lighten up and clearing the pathways for you guys to come together. So let's take your three cards, add their two cards to it. Get a potential outcome. Knight of Swords, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra. I'm pulling Aquarius on this one. When I when I get these cards, usually first I look at what the element is, air, and then I think of the first element that I see. I trust my intuition, and in this case, I heard Aquarius. Top Gun Maverick style flying in, going right past the tower with Booster and Roos and all of them, and and like not gonna copy, clear off the air traffic controller's table. So once you guys do work through this, this is going to be a lot of fast momentum and movement that you're both manifesting. You're powerhousing it with the Ten of Swords, but it gets going to that point where you guys can actually work together and find trust and loyalty on this one here. It's standing up for what you want and moving fast and using your words wisely. What is the incoming energy where it's going to go to? Eight of Pentacles. Working well together. Virgo energy. And some, some good mirroring in this one here that you guys have done a lot of work internally on both of you guys. And you continue your healing journeys together. You come together when the time feels right to, to work because you're meeting each other on a good energetical level. The Eight of Pentacles, all right? Reflections, taking the times to work on this one here. Um, maybe even like changing things up or like a complete energetical reboot that lets you roam a lot more freer and lets it just flow. What is the environmental factors? The tower. Your energy. So you are kind of a dominant power on this one, along with Aries. Aries and Scorpio is one of the most common twin flame energies that we have found um, in this timeline, that they come together and work through all of those things. This is the ability to overcome any obstacle, whether it's the Hindenburg on an Amtrak inside the Titanic, you know, on a boat, that you guys work to rise above it. Because tower moments can be big, small, bad, or indifferent. It doesn't always have to be like the singing of the Titanic or a dumpster fire. Maybe it's just like a match that doesn't light in the wind or something like that, you know? And you guys work together to go get a Bic lighter so you can light the campfire. Interesting. Is there a Scorpio that likes camping that I'm talking to? I like camping. It's fine. It actually is kind of cool. All right. Or maybe just looking for the warm weather when you can start doing that stuff. Maybe you're a Scorpio that's like over the snow in the wintertime, depending on what hemisphere you're in. Anyways, what are the inner emotions that are going to get us to this judgment where you guys could go forward, okay? Ooh, pull the right way, Archer. I say it here and it comes out here and I take a breath on this one because it is Aries energy. The dominating masculine energy that you guys come together in. Big divine energy. We'll just leave the D there for that one, okay? The big divine energy allows you guys to tap into a powerhouse of emotions. Also Sagittarius. So it's cardinal mixed with mutability. As that wheel of fortune turns right now for the shift of Pluto into Aquarius, um, this gives you the ability, as much like a Scorpio, to rise through all the levels of ascension and to and to, to really work with the energies here, okay? All right, so you've got, you've got a lot of Sagittarius and Aries showing up. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius are here. Big time Libra on this one, as well as Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You notice there's not a lot of emotions. You're staying grounded and stable because you almost know the outcome because Pisces and Cancer are hanging out there with the Queen of Cups. Deep down, you've got that ability to embrace all three decans of the water signs, the, the card and all the elements, and the cardinal signs, the fixed sign, the mutable signs, and, and actually run the entire spectrum. No other sign rises through all the levels of ascension like you do. Scorpio puts in the most work for the best rewards out of this. And you actually find a good way to work smarter, not harder. All right, let's see what we got. Give me everything you've got, please, and thank you, Spirit. On the Justice card, do the Ten of Pentacles, do the Ten of Swords. 10, 10, and 11 show up right out of the gates. All right, let's do it. <laughs> the Fool. So the Eight of Cups, Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, on the Ace of Swords, and the King of Cups is down here. We've got a deep connection. Queen to King of Cups, 
the energies are in there. So you do see and know exactly what you want with them. Fool card to the eight of cups on this sphere. Give me a little, come here. Give me a little more clarification. These cards are still new, so I'm learning how to respect them and hold them right. But with this one here, there's a new beginning that you've had to clear in your energy with the eight of cups to walk away from. Uh, just a mindset. It's not like Marty McFly and wiping people off the pictures or anything like that. But with the ten of cups underneath there, you're following your dreams. The Pisces energy shows up of all the planets in Pisces in this one here. You've been held down for so long that you're just wanting to take off for something brand new with the Fool card. See how, see how her feet aren't even touching the ground on this one here? It's like it's like it's like you're a wild horse wanting to to roam your wide open spaces, find your greener pastures, and like maybe you felt like you lost your sense of direction for a while. But with the Eight of Pentacles on the Eight of Pentacles squared, that's showing me 888 shows up. That's a unique angel number and connection. Maybe part of what you're manifesting, but being able to break it down into different energies. It's like, it's like you, you after everything you've been through, you've tightened your belt and like you've got yourself in, in a place that you're like happy about and, and like ready to go for it with the Ace of Swords to the Nine of Pentacles. You're only got that one pentacle that you're waiting to grab hold of onto this one. The other nine pentacles are looking good. You are looking Scorpio big time on this one here. And with Eddie of Swords, you're ready to talk about it. You're staying as strong as usual, but working to manifest the relationship you exactly want to make happen with that Fool card onto the Ten of Cups. When you've got the Ten of Cups to the Eight of Pentacles, the 18th, maybe you're born on the 18th. Could be a life path number one or 11 as well. But this shows here that you've, you've got that strong intuition that lets you strengthen your connections. And even though you thought it might be a little overwhelming at times. You've actually still got the ability to, to blend in the times to maintain your fun, your playful side, and to communicate calm and clearly. Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. It's like a Scorpio that knows exactly where you want to go. Maybe like you're an old soul trapped in a young body. And like you've got people always saying to you like, oh, no way. No way you're that old. Oh, my gosh. No, you seem so young. Ace of Swords on the Eight of Pentacles. You must have done a lot of work on yourself with this Fool card. You've got this young innocence and you're giggly and you, and you have fun times with it here. It's like, or or you're the other way around where you're like a old soul trapped in a young body. And you're like the fountain of youth where you don't even look your age and look like way younger. However, however moment, you like your 9 p.m. bedtimes. And if you don't get your morning coffee break, why don't talk to Scorpio. You know, you need that little bit of time to wake up, to energize and find yourself so you can continue to grow on that Nine of Pentacles to achieve your Ten of Pentacles. Ah, look at that, the sun. Leo energy stops me. Hey, Archer, you're holding the deck the wrong way. I know, it's, it's, stop, stop blocking my light. <laughs> Anyhow, I got to shuffle to that way. Do you? It's terrible. You can, you can be anything you want it to be. And that's what it is. Regardless of however they come to you, whether they come with you or without you into this one here, you don't mind so long as everybody winds up happy. Ace of Swords and can use their words wisely. Ooh, what stopped me? Three of Pentacles. You're connecting right into their energy. Check that out. The Three of Pentacles squared. Maybe you were them or Life Path number 33. That's a risen Past Masters Ascended number on that one there. That lets something go the distance. Two of Pentacles. Three, two, one, go time. All right. I'm seeing a lot of Virgo energy. You might have that in your chart. Also, Aries and Aquarius comes out along with Pisces and Cancer too. All right, some Sagittarius even as well. Or you're a cusper. That's Scorpitarius energy. Big time on that one all of a sudden. Wow. Neato. Cusper makes me want chowder too. I don't know why, but that's interesting. All right, let's see what we got on their side of the fence. The Nine of Fire, the Nine of Wands. Two Judgment shows back up to the Six of Wands. Ten of Swords, Two of Pentacles. And the King of Cups comes back with the Six of Swords underneath here on the Empress. Oh, my goodness. Your guys, your energies are sinking. Check that out. The Judgment card, the energy at the bottom of the deck, links right back into it with the Nine of Wands. So maybe they are a little closed off and guarded, Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius has the ability to stay very quiet, very guarded. I mean, you can't do what Sagittarius does. That is like the, the a wall that Donald Trump would be jealous of. be like, whoa, it's huge, but there's a crack right there. They might be where they get to watch you. Maybe you guys are kind of snooping or checking each other out. But maybe they've even dealt with a lot. Like we were talking about how they went all the way back to their childhood to work things out, cast judgment to find the way to go forward, and to get a Six of Wands on an Eight of Wands to the Ten of Swords. Your energies are crisscross applesauce and across the board on this one here. This is like a plot twist written all over it. It's, it's the ability. Maybe they're kind of jaded and unsure. Like they do see a victory. And they want to meet you on your same energetical level. Six of Wands squared, right? Top selling Grammys for KP coming out on that one. KP energy <laughs> with the Ten of Swords. Maybe they're just a little behind you or a little ahead of you because your Ten of Swords is your goal or destiny. However, it's in their clarifier. So they learn a lot from you. 
and like you guys do share a lot of similar interests maybe you do work together or you have a hobbies or interests or artistic creativities like songwriting or or painting sculpting writing something like that that even even like clay claymation clay molding and that like making pottery and stuff oh i've tried it like once it is so fun i would love to do it again but maybe that's what leads to the goal or destiny where you're like receiving all those gifts that come forward from them when you guys work together it's like Whatever you guys have an interest in on their side, they're working hard to not overreact from it and learning from the stuff they've been through in the past so they come in in a more mature, um, energetical space for the two of you guys to work together and receive all the goodness with the Empress that you guys know you both love and deserve. There's deep nurturing energy, Pisces energy on that Ten of Cups to the King of Cups. That is, it's, Pisces is the most nurturing, caring sign in all the Zodiac, all right? They forgive, they love, and they reflect back very artistic. And with the sun in Pisces, the moon going into Pisces, how can you not be feeling that Pisces energy across the board for your goal to receive something really good and to overcome all of this? It like puts things together so that you guys can both work on yourselves, your career, and allow things to follow it. Maybe you guys are both working on this because on the chakra energy, six of swords, that's Aquarius energy to come in, to come in deep, low stealth mode and receive all that. Aquarius is like an all signs of energy. They can pick up anything from all 12 signs on that and transmit and receive it from a place of power with the king of swords right there. That's straight up Aquarius energy. That's the boss. The king of swords knows how to use their words wisely and understands that the weight of their words carry girth into it, you know? So maybe with all that stuff going on, you guys come together. And remember how we had the repeating eight, 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 eights all over the board? Rewind if you missed it. That's what I'm seeing off of this. But it's like a, a breakdown numerologically. Like how numerologically we're in the year of eight. 2024 breaks down to the year of the eight. The strength card. Hello, Leo. But that shows here that you guys are like, like if it's manifesting, it's the throat chakra, the communication of the third eye chakra. So you, you all wind up a perfect 2020 vision. And then even right up into the crown chakra to rise like a phoenix out of the ashes. This energy is all about you. If you go into 448 hertz on the binaural beats and the manifestation energies, if you like playing a little YouTube sounds uh, to, to let you relax or calm down or focus at night, that's going to bring the chakras into a wavelength that lets you strike energetical oil straight up. All right, straight up. Okay, appreciate you. Appreciate you. Spirit's got an awesome way to deliver my messages. That's why I like God. It's fun. All right, I appreciate it. Let's go for it. I haven't even had car volt battery to the tongue yet lately. Just nine volt. Maybe I got a box of dead nine volts. <laughs> repeating nine showing up too on that one i just need to buy some new batteries knight of cups just get some new batteries archer oh okay maybe it's like something that was past its expiration date like it needed to keep going energizer bunny style because the six of swords is back too on the knight of cups that fast moving energy that comes in riding in on his white horse that sees the direction to go forward into this one here i'm laying it right down where spirit told me to that's trusting my intuition really see how it stopped me five of pentacles ace of wands to the world on the tower to the six of cups oh my goodness i cannot with you on this one this ace of wands is not safe for youtube in any way shape or form this part's all for you hold on ace of one on the five of pentacles oh my gosh once the, once the key gets put in the lock you can't stop that's gonna open pandora's box up to go like oh, i cannot with you this that one will not pass the test <laughs> but you guys will totally 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 love it you know why because it's the world it's literally every element every sign that comes in to make you feel that great and to take things in the proper context or that all the energies come together and you have made it to a point that you can actually begin again with this fool card up here and and a new cycle goes forward where you guys come together in harmony finding that ability to follow your heart follow your energetical rhythm with the tower card to rise like a phoenix out of the ashes you and aries energy on the six of cups there's definitely a deep connection here there could even be children involved in this or like like just a big age difference and having the ability to work out things like that because even nowadays there's a lot of age differences in relationships and couples and younger people having to, to nurture children or like the uncles and the aunts it, it's amazing how as the aquarian energy takes over and this shift is happening that we're coming together in a much more place of like harmony and being able to overcome these things these six of cups tower moments, whether they're big, bad, small, or indifferent, it could be as simple as stubbing your toe on the headboard or stepping on a Lego or all the way up to like burning the pot roast. But either way, it's the world card where you find the way to be like, that's okay, we'll just go out and get dinner. I'll just bring dinner home, whatever. And you guys have that ability to work through it. It finds like the ability to merge two 24 hour days into one, even if it's all families and all energies coming together and to actually do the greater good for everyone involved with this deep generational wealth that's on your side of the card, all right? That's the ability to find love in a, and come together in a place of real love, loyalty, trust, and a lot of emotions. Kings of Cups to the Empress and the Goal or Destiny. 
that it, it's making the choice to stick together through all those tower moments and embrace each other's energies and differences just as much as you embrace each other's similarities. That's some Ace of Wands passions, all right? And I, can, I cannot say no more on the channel. <laughs> I cannot say no more. Don't say no more. But anyways, that Ace of Wands, the world card is like, whoa, whoa on Mountain Dew, all right? Scorpio, you have got strong water energy. Pisces, big time. Cancer as well. Sagittarius is here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming in. Aries is, of course. You also have a lot of Libra, a lot of mutable energy. And you are the star of the show in the whole thing here. Ten of Cups, though, brings Pisces in with that Knight of Pentacles, all right? Virgo energy. Virgo Pisces, strong into it, all right? Also Cancer. And Leo, don't forget Leo. How could we? <laughs> Scorpio. Claim this down in the comments because this is something that you want to manifest. You're, this Empress energy that brings things together for what you want, make it happen right there. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how, who, how you're dealing with it. How's it going? How you're feeling? Just keep in touch. I know it takes me uh, some time to respond to the comments, but I do see, like, love, and I do respond to all of them eventually. A little Knight of Pentacles, but I'm kind of like the U.S. Postal Service in the Knight of Pentacles because tried, tested, and true, my arrow makes its way to you, all right? Cupid on Mountain Dew. That could be me. I don't know. It's a thing. <laughs> Anyways, I, I I cannot. This has been a fun reading. We got we must stop now. We must stop now. <laughs> um, remember, Scorpio, this will resonate to any and all placements of Scorpio within your chart. We're not just your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, but all the junk in the trunk, all the stuff in the back, all the parts of all our charts. And I am FAJ compliant and will read for any sign or placement that desires and inquires. All you got to do is ask you, Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, you. <laughs> Follow me on TikTok and Instagram as we work to grow the channels. Check out everything I've got going on and uh, stick around because there's much more in store for 2024. You're the strength card coming in strong. All right. And I appreciate you for being here and being a part of it. Until next time, though, I'll see you then. All right. Namaste. Thank you very much for the time today to deliver your messages with us. And thank you, Spirit, God for delivering the messages for Scorpio. We, we've all got this together. This is like one big Oprah thank you across the board for all of you guys. We are truly, truly grateful. Appreciate it. All right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Peace and love. Namaste again. Archer out. Yeah, Chariot. I gotta go, but I still love you.